Discord. Opening every pack till we get bored. Every round we add cards to the ban list. Till Simo sends us a cease and desist. Well, another week, another episode of Progression Playoffs, and folks, I'm over it. No longer will I complain about my miserable pulls, my rotten luck, and I promise you, here and now, to never baby rage again. Unless I am playing against Gavin. You gotta cut me some slack. Have you seen what he's playing? <sighs> but before I do that, I need to talk to you about today's sponsor, Rage Shadow Legends. I've called Raid Shadow Legends the Dragon Link of mobile and PC gaming, and just like Dragon Link, they're not going anywhere. In fact, they've just announced an entirely new playable faction. Get ready to meet the Shadowkin. Use my QR code or the links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. The Shadowkin are shrouded in mystery. Hailing from beyond the Brimstone Path, they've been under the brutal heel of the Demon Spawn for the last several hundred years. Only in the past few months have they overthrown their yoke and revealed themselves to the other factions. Are they honorable? Yes. Evil? Not anymore. Are they good? Uh, I'll, um, I'll get back to you on that one. This faction is just getting started. Come meet the new arrivals in the game. I'm most excited for Toragi the Frog, the spiritual successor to Toadmaster. My favorite part of Raid continues to be Warboy. A middling champion, this bundle of potential has been part of my flagship team throughout dungeon battles, PvE events, and clan bosses. Obviously my, uh, shall we say, less ascendancy challenged teammates are doing most of the heavy lifting, but you know the saying, from each according to their ability. Go get him, Warboy. Raids just hit their two-year anniversary with a load of anniversary events and tournaments going on right now with anniversary-sized prizes to win. On top of that, they've got some huge updates coming later in the month, including a new Doom Tower rotation with two tough new bosses. If you'd like to jump in, click the links in the description or scan this QR code, and if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, 50 gems, three ancient shards, and Jotun. Look at this guy. Sheesh, even Raid's sick of waiting for Plunder Patrol support. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. And it's that easy. Click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. Now back to the set. Enemy of Justice changes everything. And I know I've said that five times now. In my defense, the last set was supposed to change everything, and then we didn't pull any of the cards that change everything. Regardless, this time they're all at common. There are three main archetypes available to us at low rarity. Destiny Heroes, a series of warrior-type monsters that never really found their footing in advance, aside from a couple very particular ones, but the power level of this format is low enough that we're likely going to be jamming stuff like Doomlord. Counter Fairies, this is where you first see cards like Bountiful Artemis that get benefits from activating counter traps, and Macro Cosmos. There are three cards that banish cards instead of sending them to the graveyard in this set. Banisher of the Radiance, Dim Fizz, and Macro Cosmos. For individuals like me who have three copies of DD Survivor, this is going to be a game changer. It will similarly suck for the individuals who are playing cards like Hydro Get On, which can't even get their effects if they send cards to the Banished Zone instead of the Grave. So let's real quickly go through the card list. Doomlord is a decent piece of removal. Diamond Dude featured in an extremely powerful combo deck which we do have some form of access to. Uh, Death Croaking is a very powerful spell card we can mill off the top with Diamond Dude's effect, then activate without meeting the activation condition on our next turn. Cyber Gymnast is a common, decent piece piece of removal, though it does eat our normal summon. Cyber Phoenix is a super, and was good in Constructed, but likely isn't going to be very strong here. It's just not a good tempo play. We've got the Majestic Mech Monsters that are really good if you're playing Skill Drain, but we can't be playing Skill Drain. We've got the Heralds of Green and Purple Light, but because we're not named Drytron, I don't think it's going to matter. Bountiful Artemis and Layard the Liberator are the two counter fairies that we will be considering the most, and the payoff, Voltanus the Adjudicator, is pretty much a free special summon provided you have a monster on your side of the field to tribute. Now this is an ultra, so it is very possible people open it, but not guaranteed. We will probably pivot in this direction if we find the card. Banisher of the Radiance is one of the banishing cards. Whirlwind Weasel is very funny, if nothing else. We've got new retrains of all of the charmers, and they're not fantastic. And then the monsters in the fusion 
uh, selection are, are pretty terrible. They are very specific elemental hero fusions. I'm talking Avion plus Burstinatrix. Drawing three card combos is not easy in this format, and it's way, way, way not enough to facilitate something like Phoenix Enforcer Turbo. H-E-R-O in here, which are all fantastic cards, and maybe walk people back to Avion Control, but I doubt it. Uh, Celestial Transformation is a great way to get fairies out of your hand. There are a couple that are really powerful, and I'd like to see make it into the format. Dim Fizz, of course, needs no discussion. Clock Tower Prison will ruin the format. Hard to really talk this card up. It is exactly as powerful as it looks. Once per turn during your opponent's standby phase, you put a clock counter on the card, and if four turns pass, you no longer take battle damage. Add to that that we don't have any spell and trap destruction, and this will be format warpingly powerful. However, we are abiding by the old field spell rules, so it's possible we might want to play Skyscraper, the other available field spell, in order to out our opponent's clock tower prison. Outside of that, we've got some decent stuff. A D shield is an okay card. It prevents your monsters from being destroyed by battle, but now there's removal. Lone Wolf it is not. Macrocosmos, of course, is extremely strong. Shattered Axe is a combat trick. It's no rising energy, but it does modify attack and defense and might find a place in any of our decks. And Forced Back is the best version of Malfunction we have yet. So... All in all, a lot's going to depend on what we pull. We could conceivably go in any direction here, and the high rarity staples we get are going to be the determining factor. However, keep in the back of your mind, we already have 3DD Survivor. If we don't pull well, we can always fall back to that. So let's go. 24 packs of Enemy of Justice, starting now. Not a lot out of the starting gate. Hero Flash is a pretty piss poor rare, but there's not a ton of rares we're really hoping for regardless. There's a Macro Cosmos and a Dim Fizz. That's pretty good. Okay, we've got two apiece. I mean, we are getting there. I I'm feeling pretty decent about our chances if we just play the Banish deck. D-Time is a weird card. I don't know if I'll be playing that, but Cyber Phoenix is a decent pickup. Even if all it does is cycle, that's still probably good enough. There's a Banisher of the Radiance. We're looking for a couple more copies of that, and I believe that's our final Macro Cosmos we needed. Uh, so another Banisher would be really nice, but outside of that, I'm really leaning towards the Banish deck right now. Whoa! A second Cyber Phoenix? Sheesh. That's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Tick tock, baby. Oh, wow. We pulled it. Oh, I hope no one else did. <gasps> and the rich get richer. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, wow. This card is not long for this world, baby. Oka's nice, Oka's nice, it's it's a decent card. Not a lot to talk about here. I, I'm just kind of happy about what we pulled already. I, I obviously I would like another banisher of the radiance, but that's pretty much it. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. I'll take Phoenix Enforcer, but uh, I'm not gonna be playing that shit. Last pack, and uh, looks like we're going to have to settle for one copy of Banisher of the Radiance. That's upsetting, but the rest of our pulls were pretty killer. We got all the commons we wanted. We got a couple of copies of Cyber Phoenix, which is dope. Double Clock Tower Prison. My god. I think our uh, friends are in for a very, very rude awakening, and I think I'm going to be jamming as many survivors as I can possibly find. Let's get into deck edit. So here's the list, and yeah, it's about 100% different than the last time you saw it. That's a good thing, because the last time you saw it, it was terrible.
Our deck now has a cohesive game plan. We've got Dimensional Fissures, Macro Cosmoses, and DD Survivors either as recursive big beaters or as tribute material for something like a Saber Beetle or an Ancient Gear Golem. I'll walk you through each of the individual cards. First, we've got three Adhesive Explosive, just a fantastic tool to stall our opponents out of the game, and it trades favorably with pretty much every monster. Ancient Gear Golem, good card. Anteater Eating Ant, we're playing one copy of. Now, this is our only out to Clock Tower Prison functionally, but I'm still only playing one copy because in order to fire, it needs to be able to send spells and traps you control from the field to the graveyard. Now, you can do that under Dimensional Fissure, but you can't do it under Macro Cosmos. As a result, we might get ourselves into a scenario where it actually doesn't matter anymore if we can or cannot summon this monster. We're playing a Banisher of the Radiance, a Cyber Dragon, two Cyber Phoenix. This is a lot for a card that doesn't do a ton, but it's decent enough at cycling, and I think finding DD survivors is going to be paramount to us winning. Speaking of, here is the boy, followed by three Indomitable Fighter Lele. No idea how this card is still in our deck. We need a better beater next set for sure. After that, we've got three Saber Beetle, a pretty decent monarch, a copy of Steamroid, which... I'm sorry, I just needed one more monster. I know he sucks. I know he's bad. For spells and traps, we're on two Clock Tower Prison. This is a win con in and of itself. Think of it as Mystic Mine, provided your opponent isn't playing Skyscraper. We've got two Dark World Lightning for hitting set cards, three Dimensional Fissure, a Grand Convergence, which is Dark Hole if you have a Macro Cosmos on your side of the field. I think this card is okay, but it's not like DD Survivor, which works with Dimensional Fissure or Macro Cosmos or your opponent's copies of those cards or Banisher of the Radiance. It only works with a Macro Cosmos you control. So I think we're not going to be playing more than one, though if it comes up, it will be so very funny. We've got three copies of Arrival Appear, still pretty good to be special summoning monsters, three Chthonian Blast, one Karma Cut, three Macro Cosmos, and three Shattered Axe. Now, this is not a fantastic piece of removal, but it's good enough. We can potentially stall out our opponents forever with something like a DD Survivor, and this is a great way to ensure that eventually we'll be able to out it. In the extra, we've got Death's Frog, Elemental Hero Mariner, Elemental Hero Necroid Shaman, our Shining Phoenix Enforcer, 3 Steam Gyroid, 2 VW Tiger Catapult, and 2 VW XYZ Dragon Catapult Cannon. And we can summon none of it. Let's jump into the games. Danny, good luck. I just want to say I've lost yes. past two weeks in round one. So if you uh, <laughs> if you beat me, you'll be crushing my little gamer girl heart. Just keep that I, in mind. I hope you win, honestly. I just want to ban another card. <laughs> I think I'll just summon area. Might as well. Okay. And then let's set two. Pass back. All right, that's uh, that's decent. I gotta say, I'm very curious what's good this format because there's actually like a ton of good cards this set. Oh, and I can tell you what's good. I'll tell you what's good right now. Bad. What I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw you play Area, I went, "Oh, thank God!" There's still people playing cards like Area in a format <laughs> like this, where you can play Desk Croaking Diamond Dude. You chose to play area. We'll do we'll do an oldie play, I believe. Yeah, we'll normal Lele. Hey, oh, the boy returns. That is an oldie. Are you going in? Uh, I want to. So we can get forced back. All right, these these two are are the champions of overthinking. So I'm gonna do my laundry during this time. Fuck <laughs> you. Sure, I'll take um, 450. Let's summon Chainsaw Insect here. Wow, and this is uh, like the worst protection. card to beat Indomitable Fighter Lele. <laughs> I know. I don't even know if I want to hit it. I think Treeborn <laughs> like, Frog would do a better job at clearing it at this point. Like, literally. I'm actually, um, yeah. I understood that reference. That's fine, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm going to set two more cards and uh, pass it back. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, this is the first format where trap cards have been, like, good at all, right? Where there's she's a, playing... even, like, a big chance that there's a, that there's a trap card? Well, Leah, that, I'm uh... sorry to say, good, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yes! Oh. <laughs> TikTok, <laughs> okay. motherfucker! All right, all right. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Well, that's, uh, that's not good for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm man. also going to normal summon Majestic Mech Oka. Bong. Sure. Oh, that's kind of cool. 
Neat. We'll so Majestic Mac Oka is a card that I didn't really get a good chance to talk about. It's a free normal summon. You don't have to tribute for it. It's got 2400 attack. Uh, but if you do uh, that, it goes to the graveyard to... at the end step. In response to the attack, I'm going to activate Macro Cosmos. Sure. So we both banish these guys. Wow. I'll draw my card off of Chainsaw. What, sure. a, what a sweet interaction. You get to normal Oka, use it as a removal spell, and then draw a card off the Chainsaw Insect. Yeah, that's like the best case scenario, basically. <laughs> yeah, well, thankfully, you know, um, it didn't happen to me. Did anyone pull the Clock Tower payoff, the Destiny Hero Dreadmaster? Huh. The payoff is not taking the, that away. Isn't, isn't the payoff terrible? <laughs> no, he's he's the dread master. Wow, you individuals do not give any shits about the league of heroic destinian fuckers. This bit ain't making it in. Well, normal summon bountiful Artemis. Yo, sure. you're playing well, counter fairies. Let's go. Go to battle. We'll attack with just Artemis. We'll keep play layup. We'll just uh, quick play Grand Convergence here. Yo! <laughs> mm. Yep, yep, yep. So I expect. So, so this How did you expect has, that? This one has quick play speed, Dark Hole. But it's like you the worst that. card ever. You uh, take 300 damage, Danny. <laughs> oh my god. If you ever resolve it, you do win the game. But it's it's so hard to resolve. You have to draw exactly your macro cosmos. It's not like DD Survivor, where if your opponent has one or you have a dim fizz, it's on. It's just there. You got to draw exactly that. Survivor, <laughs> nice macro cosmos, Leah. Fantastic job. This is a cyber gymnast. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Survivor is pretty good, right? Here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I love cyber gymnast. This is what you should look like if you're a cyber gymnast like what's the a, a couple of questions about this card one <laughs> she's ripped it's like we we can't gloss she's over that jacked second uh what's the cyber portion of her <laughs> this is a normal human they don't have right. any mechanical augmentation it's her face she's wearing a mask mm. is it a mask i, I don't know maybe what she's a robot cyber? mask i'll uh summon lele and pass well, congratulations, Danny, on your first win of the week. <laughs> Great I can, job. I can, I can mill him out. I can mill him out. Uh, oh, yeah, you're Danny. right. Danny is actually one card down. Gonna have to find a win condition eventually. You have only one turn to do it. Okay. Banish uh, that cyber gymnast. Let's dark sure. by It was forced Ooh. back. I'll discard H Heated Heart and just summon this uh, Cyclopium. Damn, that's Ooh. a big boy. All right, let's uh, kill Alsa. Okay. Go ahead. This play rocks. I'm going to normal summon Chainsaw Insect. Oh, no! <laughs> wow. Yeah, there Attack you go. Attack over Lele. Yeah, there you wow. go. Oh, so good. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, so I'll draw a card. She's going to draw a card, turning off Cyclopean, and also oh, awesome. putting her closer in range to uh, the end of the game via deck out. Like, wow, awesome. this might <laughs> shut every door. There is one possible ah. way to get rid of Clock Tower Prison that isn't using the field spell rules, and it's Ant Eater Eating Ant. But in order to summon that card, you need to be able to send cards on your side of the field to the graveyard, which you can't do under Macro Cosmos. Let's double Shattered Axe on the Chainsaw. <laughs> Damn, we really do be out here, huh? I'll summon area and I'll hit over him. Okay. Um, That's fine. I draw a card. How much is that? Four zero! zero. It's Eight zero, hours. dude! Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, zero. I keep forgetting! I'm just conditioned. So we're really returning to our roots with this episode with 10,000 hour long stun game. <laughs> yeah, I guess I personally deserve to be watching this game. Yeah, this is this is like your uh, your your hell test, right? They like put you this in this is this is like they put you in a stun yeah, match that you're not participating in. I yeah yeah yeah, it's like a weird purgatory. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. I take um six. Gavin, for the crime of pre-planning bits, we sentence you to a thousand <laughs> hours in the clock tower prison. Let's uh, special Sidra. Sure. And I'll summon Cyber Gymnast. Okay. okay. 
and he'll uh, discard macro to kill uh, cybernetic magician. I guess I'll kill DD survivor because it's funny. Go ahead. True. It is 300. No, it is not. not 300, Danny! <laughs> oh, damn, that's so funny. <laughs> I mean, uh, even absent, like, deck out, I think that Danny kind of has it just because Leah's making these, like, terrible trades just to stay in the game, just for Danny to be like, I'm up nine cards. <laughs> I got a little bit of card advantage back from the... Well, I guess I really didn't. I was going to say I got a little bit back from the Anteater eating ant, but... I um I spent like five cards to do that, I think. Ladidi survivor. I'm a survivor. We're a dying breed. Ooh, this seems okay. good. Ooh. I mean, uh, sort of. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to make you play it out at least. How do I always fucking forget <laughs> Cyclopean? I've forgotten Cyclopean the past three weeks. I just forgot he existed. This card's great. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. And this I'm card's not extra playing. good in this format. It's so much easier to get stuff out of your hand now that there are more playable spells and traps and discard outlets. So let's tribute off uh, Sidra for Oka. Okay. All right. Um, and let's have Oka attack over the face down. Sure. Sure. Oh, Go ahead. wow. Okay. Damn, this is so mm. fun. Oh, wow. Team play. <laughs> oh, I'm not drawing my out. So <laughs> you you already play. drew your out. You don't need to draw That's shit. True. That's true. It's out. <laughs> this is actually kind of weird because I, I have to keep setting monsters into a potential board wipe mm -hmm. for Cyclopean to stay alive. Do I like care? I think I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna put Cyclopean to defense. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I like don't wanna I don't know, I don't wanna like have to always play a monster because then I can't possibly come back from like grand convergence out of nowhere. Right. Okay, finally. We're going to. Am I gonna be punished here? <laughs> oh yeah, uh, we're gonna miraculous descent. Oh Whoa, my god! Yeah. Whoa, this hell is so yeah. cool. Oh, That's it gets really back cool. Oka. Oh, this rocks. Steamroid still on Steamroid. You got to do what you got to do, baby. Okay, the Oka's trade. Okay, wow, he actually equalized. Okay. All right, Leah, you're down seven cards. What are we doing from this position? Nothing. <laughs> um, so that steamroid is a little, uh, it's a little, uh, you know, it's a little, yeah. little sussy. A little sussy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll just kill him. Nope. Oh, oh Jesus back to the hand. Wow, you're gonna tempo um, her out. Can you declare priority with that still? No, no. um, force negate back the negates summon. the summon. Yeah. Oh, good. Woohoo! Get Is her. That game. Get her. Yes. Unless you have another grand convergence or whatever it's called. I don't, but I'm like kind of tilted. So <laughs> let me just let me just mill my cards, Danny, and I just want okay. you to see what I didn't draw. Sure. Right. Didn't Survivor. draw my DD survive. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Not anti eating. Oh, I didn't draw there's my clock yep. oh. the tower. Clock tower prison. Fun. Let's do this. Fuck you. Brent, <laughs> why you acting sus? Why you acting <laughs> sus? Why you <laughs> acting like imposter? Why you acting like a monster? Brent, you gotta <gasps> vote the imposter off. Brent, why you <laughs> acting <laughs> sus? Why you uh, so... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! God damn! Ooh, nice chainsaw insect. I love it. All right, this this is a play I like to call. I am activating clock tower prison. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh yeah, you know Bob, <laughs> you know Bob. <laughs> this is a second play I am calling. I'm summoning Cyber Dragon. Oh. Pretty good card. All right, Pretty I'm going to set two cards, and you are good to go. Okay, I'm going to macro as early as possible so you can't anteatering me. Brent, you're acting sus. <laughs> but I, I will take the 300, and then post-combat we'll flip up the Chthonian Blast. You can't macro cards, nice. Yeah, no! You, you cannot do that. No, wait! I was <laughs> acting <laughs> sus! You're right, sus. You're acting sus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I literally can't win now. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, you suck. Whoa. I was acting like imposter.
Looks like you were the imposter, bro. Oh my god, this really ball. says graveyard on it. Yes. Oh my god, I'm so pit. I'm so peeving. I'm so cheesed off. <laughs> Get yeah, out a I'll bug. take the hundred. That's another I draw. Seriously, Let's go. can't out the bug. Lightning. Ooh. We're gonna target this one. Oh. 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 Ooh, that's okay. Still see Saber. No! <laughs> no! Brent! Oh Shit! Exact same oh interaction. Oh my god. No! Oh my god. Oh no. All we have to do, all we have to do is win before. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Let's go. Why are you acting like imposter? <laughs> oh my god, I don't have anything to do here. <laughs> Just play your second clock tower, Preston. I'm trying! <laughs> We're gonna die this turn. Uh, yeah, we really are gonna die this turn. Wow. Okay, really sure. Fun, Wait is, that, wait, is that an elemental hero? <laughs> that is an e-hero. We're gonna die. We're fine. We're not gonna die. Okay. Shattered axe this motherfucker. Let me shattered axe this spark man. I'm gonna normal survivor. Oh, pretty good. Right. Uh, we're gonna attack so, the spark man. So I gotta say, like clock tower prison versus like somebody actively having db survivor up is a very funny scenario yes i mean the clock tower person is definitely ahead but oh yeah <laughs> yeah Ooh. yeah uh, uh -huh. um yeah. um i hate to say it again because um, it really is not funny but you're acting kind of sus Brent. <laughs> shut up <laughs> you you are kind of acting like imposter it's the same joke ten times. Okay. Oh my god. Good. Very good <laughs> card. Oh, wow. Wait, yeah. I have to look. I have to think about what I'm going to get. Okay. Four wow. We might fusion summon this turn. Oh Maybe. Gosh. Possibly. Can I see, like, play, what, Thunder Giant? Brent's had that since week one. Thunder Giant's good. Oh, <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? Brent? What? Brent? Brent. Oh, Brent. <laughs> What's the next card? There it is! <laughs> oh my god! No oh way! God. We won! All right. uh, I'm going to declare priority if you don't have anything. Oh, oh no, buddy. I got nothing. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, I'll do this. Hummity hummity hum. <laughs> I will target a face down. Okay. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> hummity, hummity, hum. This is not a hard once per turn. It's not hum. even, it's not let a me, once per turn, period. Let me do it again. I'm gonna activate a rival up here. So I'm in a, a level 8. I'm gonna, target your, I'm gonna target your wild edge. No way. No, no you are not. No, I'm not. All I have is Saber Beetle. You got it. Oh. I'm going to need you to ask me the question this week. <laughs> Gavin, no, I no. I don't I don't think I don't think I can. I mean, are you playing bullshit could mean anything from did you pull 3 clock tower to are you playing the same deck the rest of us are? I don't think any of us are playing something fair this week. I would yeah. like to report that I am the only one that did not pull bullshit. Oh, oh, oh my God, what, G Gavin! I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Oh God! I'm looking around and I'm like, wait, you mean you guys actually have this? <laughs> uh, I guess DD Survivor is also an old pickup, right? So if you didn't get it like 15 packs ago, then you're out of luck. We're seeing really high level rock, paper, scissors here. As All right, so you are ready for this? Off mm. top. You can nice. start, Danny, because that's my out. What? <laughs> nice. No way. Oh, no. Uh, shit, I, 
I didn't think I'd get this far. Um, <laughs> what could you possibly have? <laughs> Gavin, please tell me you're playing fucking Diamond Dude Turbo. Please tell me you're going to resolve oh Death Scraping. <laughs> I will I just, lose it. I'm just thinking about how the flavor of last game was... Uh, this format is literally just like elemental heroes that have the ability specifically to kill Clock Tower Prison versus clock tower prison which is yes. very flavorful i guess yeah no i'm like i'm on the most normal cards possible <laughs> i mean okay. yeah sure pretty yep. normal well well he do uh, be survived I, he uh, i danny did take 50 uh, off that exchange so you know it's pretty good we're, we're getting there we'll summon our own 1850 sure We'll go to battle and attack. It's very funny that uh, this card is so busted. Because it's like, I don't know, we played it week one because it was an 1800. And then after that, we were like, I don't know. I mean, who cares? It's an 1800. And the fact that now it's like the most busted card is hilarious. Yeah, hey, I'm so funny. glad we all have three card copies of this great, game. great card for this one set. It was a rare. <laughs> yeah, it was a rare. Yeah, it was Will a rare. you yeah. be attacking for 50 damage? Sure. Yeah, I mean, he can't Shithonian. You don't have to rub it in, okay? Yeah, come on. <laughs> you know, some of us have lives. We can't just lab out the set beforehand. I was informed that you couldn't activate Chithonian Blast under Macrocosmos like 12 minutes ago. <laughs> well, where was my information when I was deck building? I said it. I said that out loud to make sure nobody did that. Ah, well. Well, I'm also, I did play anti eating it. Lele, okay. Oh, yeah. So, by the way, people who are curious about uh, Malfunction from last week, uh, they actually can just activate the trap again hilariously. So, Malfunction is I'm even mad. more... I'm so fucking mad. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's... It's actually useless. Just a terrible card. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a good card. Sometimes you're the macro. Sometimes you're the cosmos. Oka. Wow. He's going Gosh, for it. Oka's, Oka's so good. I can't believe I missed Oka. I was like, ah, I don't think it's better sure. than Saber Beetle. It is so much better than Saber Beetle. Oh my God. Yeah, o yeah Oka's sweet. This card's great. Oka Oka's pretty okay. Thank you. No, it's pretty Oka. That was Rival the same joke. You said the same joke Oka. as Brent. Okay. Okay, there's sure. Saber Beetle. All right. Oka will die at the end of the turn, so. So, one thing, one thing that's kind of weird about this format is um, anybody who wants to go look at the set, there's actually a ton of cool stuff that could happen if Macrocosmos wasn't a card. Like, mm -hmm. there's actually, like, really cool Destiny Hero stuff that I think has a decent chance of being good next week. But it's very graveyard-dependent. Like, right. pretty much all of it. I took Arrival Appears out of my list this week because you can just get Darkhold. I think you are way overvaluing Grand Convergence. Really? Uh, I mean, it's, 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 right. it's, it's instant speed Darkhold. Like, isn't that amazing? Sure. I mean, it's super conditional. Uh, no, it isn't. You just gotta draw a macro. It's a two-card combo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Okay, but like, what do you want the reward for your two card combo to be? Like, instant speed, dark hole in a format with no removal. That's like pretty good, right? Insect barrier. Yeah, I guess your opponent not being able to attack is pretty good, but. The other thing is like, there's... convergence is good for a, a single, like, focused push from you or something. But I feel like a lot of the time it's going to be like you're wiping a board full of DD survivors or something. I suppose. I guess the question is like you're going to be playing macro in your deck anyway, right? Yeah. That's so fair. like, why not just fit it in? It's not like you're. It's not like you're making space for macro to do it. You know. Uh, I don't know if Gavin is is playing macro. Oh well, yeah, he might just not be playing. All right, let's see it. Oh, Cyclopean! Ooh, Wait, I'm we're getting the beats in. I, I uh... am going to force that back. Damn, force back, dude. I mean, yeah, Danny has to have an out of some sort. 
It's just a matter of like, will Danny find the second Oka or something first? This miraculous I... descent summoning Oka is amazing. Actually, this is so good. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's the twenty four squad. Oh, there ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Wow. <laughs> oh god, that's killer. Why does this card deal three hundred damage? <laughs> it's very funny. I. The, it's the best part of the card. Is like shit. Not three hundred. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh no, how will I ever defeat 300 damage? Well, there's win. Will she win? Uh, well, not yet. Okay, macro. Uh huh. Flip up. Yep. And convergence, okay. Ooh. Yeah, I've been playing the art without the cross for some reason. Wait, is this the, is this the uh, American version? The cross yeah. art is too, it's too busy. It well, kind of is actually. No, no, no. That's the convergence. You don't, you don't see what they're referring to on this one. You're just like, what a bunch of fucking planets, and they're not really converging. Yeah, look at my vanish zone. I like how the cross, by the way, doesn't. No, even, I know it doesn't even resemble the Christian cross um, in any way, which is I, the only reason I could possibly conceive of of why they would remove it. I know why. It's they more like remove. the the Neon Genesis Evangelion oh, cross. Yes. It looks like the crosses from Ava, right? <laughs> like. Uh, what I think Grand Convergence is meant to be depicting is a plus sign, and as you know, Konami is anti-math. This is rough. I, f I feel for Gavin, and that's a sentence I did not think I was ever going to yeah, say. No, I really yeah, feel for yeah. Gavin here. Danny draws his one DD survivor. <laughs> one DD survivor. survivor. Wait, you only have one? I only yeah. have one. Oh, I have two. I have I three. Have two. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Zero gang. Wow, it's, it's really just, just treeborn it's frog. Just, yeah. <laughs> treeborn frog too. That's crazy. This dude is surviving. He really do be surviving. This is like the twelfth turn in a row. Ugh. Yikes! Oh. Yikes! Wow, and Danny Woo! goes to finals. That was no, it's fine. I would rather pain. lose to that than Clock Tower. All right, so we have. Danny in finals with one DD survivor versus Brent <laughs> in finals with zero DD survivor. This is going to be Clock Tower Wars 2021, baby. We're going to see some good Yu Gi Oh! next week. This week, we're watching this. I, so, I think I've lost every rock, paper, scissors. Well, okay. you know, clearly it didn't matter. There's actually a lot of cool stuff in this map. First of all, no matter who wins, we have a brand new first time winner for GX. Neither Danny nor Brent has won GX. So yeah, brand new winner this week, regardless of what happens. They're also both playing really cool decks. Like they're both stupid and I hate them. But Brent <laughs> is playing E Heroes, which like has outs to the clock tower stuff. And Danny's cool. playing this like cool banished fairies list and is gonna lose the chainsaw insect. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean it, it is chainsaw insect. He's got twenty four hundred attack. He do be chainsawn. He's an insect. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This is a this is half his life. This is a five. This is five thousand damage. Ready? Uh, if Brent, oh, if yeah, if Brent attacks with Chainsaw Insect first, Danny will take twenty four, draw a card, then flip Macro and Grand Convergence. Never mind. Damage Condenser works too. Okay. Yeah, there's no winner this week. Oh, the I'm so sorry, Brent. I mean, unless you have your own. Oh, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh too. So I mean, Brent has a lot of answers to this card. Yeah, like a second right. Clock Tower prison. If Jesus he's Christ! I e hate Hero, this. There's a decent chance he's playing the E Hero exclusive MST, right? Like that kills it. Our righteous justice. I Our mean, he really was, good he's, card. He's playing Elemental Hero Avian. You think he isn't playing that card? I bet that Brent has the clock tower and was just waiting for Danny to commit to the clock tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping that's what it is. Too. I hope so. That's that'd be genius. I feel like I can't. I can't slow roll clock tower. It do be I mean, clock tower. I, I, mean, I love chainsaw insect. Sure. I love Wait. chainsaw insect. Did Brent have three chainsaw insect last week? This is clever. I only have two. Danny's okay, firing okay. the Macrocosmos now because he wants the Oka in Banished Zone to summon back with the uh, the Reborn spell. Seems good. Miraculous uh, Descent. Yeah, Miraculous Descent is sweet. Oh my god. Yeah. 
1850. Can you defeat mm-hmm. an 1850? Oh, apparently not. Wait, you know what? If Brent has skyscraper in. What the fuck is skyscraper? Oh, skyscraper. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, that would power up the avion. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, it would destroy clock tower. It's Brent, are you actually down. on avion control? You have to tell us. Are you playing <laughs> Featherwind? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, right. I'm popping right. off about Brent's deck. Brent is like, I'm going to set a card in path. Yeah, we're like, whoa, look at all these cool plays. I will take 1850. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was curious if people would still be playing Lele this week. You can be back on Lele this week because Hydro get on go off under macro. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually, uh, is anybody playing Hydro get in the lists this week? No. I'm a long-term yeah. Hydro get on denier. Uh, I do Came not. <laughs> there, but... Because if a Hydrogeddon, for those curious, doesn't activate under macro because it has to destroy a monster and send it to the graveyard to get its effect. Your own Lele, huh? Mm-hmm. This is a week two play if I've ever seen it. <laughs> himbo on himbo violence. <laughs> okay. Uh, you you do con- not you control can't, macro can't cosmos. You do not con- Oh Well, no. yeah, okay. Well, you know, there you go. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, it's. Uh, do you have it? Like, oh, oh, actually, I'm sorry. I do have a response to that. Actually. Oh no. No way. Oh no. You do not You're have a response. To royal surrender. No. Yo! We have to go all the way back. Alrighty. When you go to do declare an attack, I sure. activate so, Macrocosmos. Okay, cool. I'm gonna royal surrender. Okay. God darn it. Oh, Pog Champ, we we. Oh, whoa, that's the f- that we saw it for the first oh, time. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay okay so this uh, like, i mean this isn't that bad but brent would like to draw another macro obviously. we have what one Ooh, more turn on clock hand? tower what is in his hand wow this is actually crazy we were talking about if there's good counter traps for counter fairies that deck and said the only good one was forced back royal surrender is actually bonkers this week why were you saying the only good one was forced back that's definitely not true have you read malfunction okay <laughs> fuck you <laughs> Clay man, Clay oh, let's man. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's we're really, go. we're really oh, on. Cl- I lost to the Clay man player. <laughs> I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> what are Uh-oh. we? Yep. Oh no. I lost to the Saber Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just, oh, Show exactly. us your <laughs> Clock Tower Prison. Ooh, yeah. this is tough. I am now. So strong. The clock is ticking, Brent. It's actually kinda it's actually kinda fucked up that both of these players have five cards in hand. What is going on? <laughs> set set your goddamn hand. <clears throat> they both have ten monsters. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> this feels bad. I want I wanna say what Brent is thinking. This is the first truly like broken format we've had. The f- the first yeah. format that's felt like Crazy. what rough uh i understand like, why he's doing it but rough as yeah, shit yeah, yeah. it's like clock tower prison have destiny hero dreadmaster <laughs> <laughs> it's like clock tower way. prison isn't the thing that's winning the game but like if you ever want a shot at winning the game you do have to probably commit here if danny summoned dreadmaster oh. right there, i would i would i would die this is rough okay all right Last right, turn. Hmm. Okay, I know this is very degenerate shit, but I do feel very proud that I was that I like I really loved the counter fairy deck. I thought no, it was really, really cool. fucking cool. No, this deck's cool. This deck's really cool. This deck sucks. Fuck you. DD Survivor's a really good fairy. He is. <laughs> okay. Karma, Karma, Karma okay. cut the DD Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh the, the dream no. is dead, boys. I'm gonna take 200 damage here. Oh, nope. Oh shit, okay. that is miserable. Okay, Danny has seven cards in it. Danny, you've got to have a monster. I mean, I my god. Know. Okay, there has to be something nope, happening. Nope. That. Nope. We'll okay. try again next turn. <laughs> try again next turn. Mission <laughs> failed. We'll get him next <laughs> time. <laughs> Mission <laughs> failed. All right, it's got to be like Lele and attack. Yeah. Avian, oh we're man. so close. Avian. Is that it? 
<laughs> oh, oh my God. God. I mean, it's, so it, good. it's crazy because it actually doesn't do very much at all. Danny, take your three. Hundred. <laughs> we go to end and the survivor comes back. This card is such a fucker. <laughs> Skyscraper. Oh, he was on it. And Danny is your, Ooh. your banish buddy, your banish bastard. <laughs> banish bastard. <laughs> Well, everyone, we had a a, a game. Uh, congratulations to Danny. Um, would you like to say anything after your stupendous win? <laughs> uh, Clock Tower is very stupid, but yeah. I was I was kind of sad because I really loved my deck, uh, specifically because I played three of the Bountiful Fairy the, or the Bountiful Artemis, and I love the idea of counter traps being like a cool play style. So I thought it was really a really cool deck that I loved playing. So at yeah. least that was the fun part. No, I think, I think your deck Danny's was sweet. a fraud. Oh, okay, never <laughs> mind. Voltanus the agitator. Where's your Voltanus? It's an True. ultra. I, I pulled him. I did you not. You did? Play him. You pulled I him did. and didn't play him? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the, the, wait, that's the dinosaur, right? No, no. Voltanus. Oh, agitator. sorry. I'm thinking about super electromagnetic Voltec no, dragon. You, you don't have to play that shit. That's okay. <laughs> you don't have to play that shit. <laughs> no, I did not pull Voltanus or whatever it is. Uh, anyway, it is time to ban, and uh, Leah lost in the go round, but is being a very large baby and refusing to ban because I disclosed. <laughs> that I was not going to be banning Clock Tower Prison or Macro Cosmos. And if you all look at my deck, you can see why that is. I yeah. have those cards. But <laughs> one card I don't have, that everyone else seems to have, and in my opinion, was more determinative of the finals and the finalists' decks than anything that Leah's considering, is Chainsaw Insect. And so I will be removing this card from the van, from the fucking field, whatever. Super oh, happy with that. That rocks. I agree. I love that, man. It's so stupid. I it's hate so that stupid. card. It sucks. It has terrible applications you know with not only forcing everyone to like out it or die immediately but also fucking up the math for clock tower mirrors where like one of you is going to deck out further because your opponent has a fucking chainsaw insect it's so stupid worst decision ever to print that card the rest of the monsters cap out at 23 and they're all great bring lele back and that that's it Right. Okay, so it is up to it is up to me, as I understand, to uh, be the responsible adult here and yeah, fix you, the format. Yeah, you have to fix the format that two Chainsaw Insect players made it into finals with. Yeah, go ahead and fix it, adult. Someone <laughs> else certainly didn't chainsaw. solve the problem already. I only have one. I mean, That's one more than me, baby. That's true. I think it's actually... Actually, now that I think about it, I think it's easier to solve than I thought um okay well i mean you forced my hand and i would love to see both oh i forced your hand yeah i forced your hand uh-huh uh but i will be banning uh macro <laughs> uh, that yeah, is so, so i agree uh, man. effectively banning six cards yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. macro effectively banning like eight cards macro yeah. also not being legal removes the inability to play cards that kill clock tower prison for what it's worth so you're talking about ant eater eating ants specifically? I'm just saying, if you want to include a copy or two in your deck to make sure you don't immediately lose to Clock Tower, then it's at least possible when oh. macro is not legal. Leah, I admire your dedication to permitting us to go minus three to out Clock Tower Prison. Uh, I think the better ban would be to uh, maybe ban like Doom Dozer. I think Doom Dozer was actually the problem <laughs> remaining in the format. Would have liked to have seen that go away uh well <laughs> I, I don't even know if i'm that mad about it right because like dim fizz dd survivor is still busted out the ass yeah oh yeah, yeah I mean, so we'll, good. we'll still be doing this next week yeah i was like, like I was, blast. 
I was literally so like, can't. is it DD Survivor? <laughs> like, I was really afraid you were going to pick DD was, Survivor and I was going to I be was, fucked I over. About, I was thinking about banning DD Survivor. <laughs> but you got to understand, <laughs> like, DD Survivor looks really good and Macrocosmos looked really good. But the two finalists were playing zero and one copies respectively. So clearly the rest of their deck was doing a lot of heavy lifting. You know, why yeah. waste the bans on the cards that everyone has except for the people who are winning? Because it makes the format unplayable. <laughs> Unplayable for whom? It just makes it unplayable. Listen, for everyone. That was terrible. I, I think that all deck styles are valid. I am not <laughs> exclusionist. And as a result, I welcome our clock tower comrades into the progression adjacent format. Next set is Power of the Duelist. Power what is in Duelist. Power of the Duelist? Hit me. Destiny Hero Dogma. Oh! <laughs> Wow, I don't care about that at all. That's ultimate wow. Tyranno. The okay. aliens are in this set. Oh, oh wait. maybe Sarasaurus in this set. Oh, you know the best card actually for Brent specifically? Future fusions in this oh, set. Holy Jesus. shit! Future. Wait, future fusion. <laughs> Changes. I know, for instance, a lot of people in their progression series videos or servers, they like to ban cards at the end of every video. And I feel like that kind of takes away from the whole progression idea.